a bill that would enable Americans to sue if fictitious pornographic photographs of them are released is being introduced by a group of senators in an attempt to bring down those responsible for the deep fake of Taylor Swift. This week, a plethora of sexually graphic photographs of pop sensation Taylor Swift created by artificial intelligence went viral online, making her the latest victim of non-consensual deepfakes. In the dozens of explicit photos, Swift, who had become a regular at football games to cheer on her boyfriend Travis Keltz, was seen engaging in a range of sexual actions while wearing Kansas City Chief gear. In response to calls for legislative action to address the growing issue from fans and even the White House, Swift is reportedly considering taking legal action against the deepfake porn website that released the photographs. With a new statute that empowers victims to take legal action against false porn created in their likeness, lawmakers decided to take action against the growing trend of non-consensual deepfakes. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin, DL Ranking Member, Lindsey Graham, RSC, Senator Josh Hawley, RMO, and Senator Amy Klobuchar, R. Min, proposed the Defiance Act of 2024. In a statement presenting the Defiance Act, Durbin stated, Sexually explicit deepfake content is often used to exploit and harass women, particularly public figures, politicians, and celebrities. The harm to the victims from the distribution of sexually explicit deepfakes is very real, even though the imagery may be fake. The Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2022, which calls for action against phony explicit photographs, is expanded upon by this law. It would enable victims of explicit fake photos and films created by artificial intelligence I and other technologies to file a civil lawsuit against anyone producing the images, posing them with the intention of distributing them, or in some situations, receiving the deep fake images with knowledge that the victim did not consent. It would cover fictitious pictures and films in which the victim is shown engaged in nude or sexually suggestive behavior. In advance of a hearing on Big Tech's alleged inability to shield children from online sexual exploitation, the measure was introduced on Wednesday. For years, the website had been publishing fictitious photos of Swift and other celebrities. Recent fictitious sexually explicit photographs of Swift are thought to have originated from Celeb Jihad. After that, they were shared on X and other social media platforms, which infuriated the singer's hordes of admirers who coordinated to notify tech officials so that the pictures could be taken off. Swift has contemplated taking legal action against the website before. Celeb Jihad was previously warned by her legal team after it released a phony image of her in a skimpy outfit in 2011. Independent researcher Genevieve O revealed an analysis to the Associated Press in December that showed the number of fresh deepfake movies uploaded to the internet in 2018 surpassed the total for all previous years combined at over 140. 96 eyes of deep fake movies were non-consensual porn, according to a 2019 study. Federal authorities have responded to the Taylor Swift fake porn issue in a number of ways, one of which is the Defiance Act. Congressman Tom Keene Jr. demanded this week that measures be put in place to stop an alarming trend that affects not only celebrities, but also all young people in the nation. White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre stated that the government was concerned about the spread of phony graphic photographs in answer to a query last week. She stated that while the Biden administration is committed to working with Congress to combat Internet abuse and harassment, Congress must also act through legislation. Congressman Joe Morrell of New York sponsored the Preventing Deepfakes of Intimate Images Act in May 2023. His bill would make it illegal to produce and distribute sexually explicit content generated by artificial intelligence without consent. 